Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. I am Hype the Commentator and thank you all for joining me today. Today we are taking a look back at One Night Stand 2008. The rules, well they don't apply here because it's tables, ladders, and chairs. Edge and The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right in. To it. All right, and here we go. The bells run. This match is underway. There are no rules, no disqualifications. Anything goes. The only way to win is to climb up the ladder and retrieve the world heavyweight title suspended high above the ring. And now the Undertaker with the early attack on Edge with these huge rights. Undertaker regarded as one of the best strikers in WWE. And Edge is down to one knee. Undertaker really taking Edge to school early on. This is smart for the Undertaker to work on that midsection of Edge early on. It makes it harder to breathe. Takes your energy out. Makes it harder for you to climb that ladder. As time goes on, Edge has a lot of experience in these TLC matches. Edge was part of the first big TLC match here in WWE in fact Edge former Money in the Bank winner multiple occasions Edge the reason he's the ultimate opportunist is because he won the Money in the Bank and has capitalized on a couple of occasions and Edge is down to his knees after everything that's gone between gone through between Edge and the Undertaker, it all you know, it's coming down to this. And the Undertaker goes up. Going old school. Edge, welcome to class, cause you just went old school. And a big boot from the Phenom takes down Edge. And just like that, Undertaker continues his attack. This has been going on for quite some time. Dating back to The Undertaker defeating Edge back at WrestleMania 24 to win the World Championship. Then Backlash, Edge would get some help. Oh, what a sliding drop kick. Edge has been involved in these matches before. He knows how it goes. Edge wiping off the chairs off the table that he wants. Edge is looking to do something dangerous. Not quite sure what he's thinking. But whatever it is, it's going to be very, very painful. He's now stacking tables on each other. Oh, my. But Undertaker has that ladder. At least trying to pull himself up. Undertaker looks slightly dazed. Oh, colliding right into the chest of Edge with that ladder. And again... Right at the face. And Edge is being taken care of by the Undertaker. Let's take a look at this one more time. And Edge gets taken down to his knees as the Undertaker is in control. Undertaker's been looking to recapture that World Heavyweight Championship ever since he's been screwed time and time again by Vicky Guerrero. He's had enough of it. He can't take it anymore. It's it's getting it's getting ridiculous out of this at this point. Banning the Hell's Gate because he used it to beat Edge at Backlash. And then vacated the title. And now they're competing here for the vacated championship. It's when's enough enough? Enough games. Undertaker's sick of the games here. Vicky Guerrero vacated the title of The Undertaker to give Edge a better chance of winning this thing. So that this could happen. This is Edge's ball game. Edge is so familiar with this TL with these TLC matches that Vicky Guerrero wanted to give Edge the quote unquote high ground, if you will. Drop to old sends Undertaker face first into the steel steps. Edge now taking, taking control just like that. We've got four tables again next to each other stacked. 
This is going to be crazy with a draft coming up. You never know what's going to happen with the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge has a ladder looking to close this one out early. Edge rolls back in the ring. This is a good time. Undertaker still outside the ring. This is a perfect opportunity for Edge to climb the ladder and retrieve the World Heavyweight Championship. A title he looks to regain once again. Can he do it as he makes the climb? But the Undertaker realizes it and goes right back in the ring and pulls Edge right off. Oh, Edge collides with the ring ropes. Neck first. Absolutely devastating for the Rated R Superstar. Just like that, Undertaker able to turn things around. And now just unfolds the ladder, puts it down, gets it out of play for the time being. Undertaker setting it up in the corner. What is going on in the mind of the dead man? And the Undertaker sends Edge into the corner. And, oh, no. I know what he's thinking. Thinking Snake Eyes, but Undertaker face first. Thinking Snake Eyes, but Edge countered and sent Undertaker face first and to the ladder. And now Edge rolls to the outside. What is the Rated R Superstar thinking? Another ladder coming into play. And Edge now has another ladder. This would be very you, this would be very fitting for Edge to win such to win the world title in a match that is uniquely suited for him. He's competed in so many of these alongside alongside Christian. And Edge got sent in the ladder. And now Undertaker who's shifting the tides. Undertaker with a right to Edge. Just like that, it could happen on at the snap of your fingers, happen on a dime. The Undertaker can take control just like that, turning things around and has another ladder. Perhaps looking to climb the ladder and retrieve the title. Making sure the ladder's in perfect position. But you don't want to waste too much time because it seems Edge is starting to stir a little bit. Undertaker climbing the climbing ladder. Can he do it? Edge, can I go up there to meet him? Clubbing blow to the Undertaker. And Edge sent face first in the top of the steel of the ladder. Oh, Edge face first into the ladder, but then pushed by but bounced back. And Undertaker sent the ladder to the opposite side of the ring. Oh, what what instincts from the rated R superstar Edge. Both men are down and out. We're back down to ground zero. Who's gonna get back up to their feet first and take control? There is so much punishment that Edge can take so much punishment that The Undertaker can take, but how much are they willing to take? The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The stakes are high. And Edge, if you think about it, has the advantage with this being a match he's so familiar with. But Undertaker, all in all physical aspects, has the advantage. And Undertaker's back up to his feet, but he looks a little dazed. Undertaker, Edge, Snake Eyes on the ladder. That's not pretty. Undertaker able to capitalize. And with millions watching around the world, Edge giving it everything he's got. The Undertaker giving it everything that he's got. This could very well be the last time we see The Undertaker. That's the big thing. If Undertaker doesn't win this, this is it. This is over for the dead man. The dead man will never be back in WWE again. And that's tough to think about. The momentum is shifting in The Undertaker's favor. Edge is trying to pull himself on the outside on the floor. Undertaker with a steel chair in hand. Things are not going to be pretty. Boom! What a shot to the midsection of the Rated R Superstar. And again, a shot to the spine. Did you hear the smack on the back? Thunderous spine rattling shot. With a steel chair to the Rated R Superstar. Just like that, Undertaker able to keep the momentum on his side. Undertaker's been on the top for many, many years. Over the last near 20 years, Undertaker's given it everything he's got. Undertaker's given everything to the WWE. And now Undertaker... Going for the guillotine leg drop, but Edge gets the chair up, and that's going to go right into the back of the knee. 
That was brilliant. A brilliant counter from Edge. And the Undertaker is writhing in pain. Look at the way the chair bent. Oh, my. The chair bent that way on the back of the knee. Oh, and again, Edge goes to the back of the knee. The ultimate opportunist taking advantage of that opportunity to continue the attack of the knee. Let's look at this again. Look at the way the chair bent on that shot. Edge knows his opponent, The Undertaker, so well. These two have gone at each other for quite some time now. And now Edge, oh my, this isn't going to be pretty. Edge has a chair, has a ladder um, propped up between the ring apron and the barricade. We've seen this before. We've seen how this has played out before. And The Undertaker looking to take Edge for one final ride. What a low blow from Edge, and it's all legal. Under extreme rules, it's all legal. And it, this is what Edge needed to do. Here at extreme rules. Edge has the chair. Undertaker. Undertaker, you can hear the energy just being sucked out of the wind, knocked out of the dead man. You can't. You don't get any more extreme than uh, than extreme rules, and we are here at extreme rules. And on this day, Edge can see clearly, but the Undertaker can't because he gets caught with a chair right to the face. The steel chair thudding across the face of the dead man, and Edge could be closing in on a new, on another World Heavyweight Championship. And Edge, another table in mind. And Edge, let's take a look at this again. What a chair shot to the Undertaker. Edge implementing the tables. Oh, uh, and Edge with a chair. Oh, and again to the dead man knocks him right down onto the floor after another devastating shot with a steel chair this is a huge opportunity for edge to really take control of the undertaker really take out the dead man once and for all and make sure he never comes back to the wwe undertaker sent face first on the table undertaker's on the table now what does edge have in mind and edge on the announce desk and Edge, oh, what a frog splash from the announce desk through the table set up in front of it. Undertaker goes down. Just like that, Edge has really taken control of this one. It's going to be tough for the Undertaker to find his way back in this one. Can he do it? Let's take a look. But Edge may have done some damage to himself in the process. Edge rolls back into the ring. And Edge and, and Undertaker in deep, deep trouble as Edge setting up the ladder. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Edge propping up the ladder. But the Undertaker is starting to stir a little bit. And now Undertaker's skull re received two chair shots to the head and then sent through a table. But somehow Undertaker still finding the will to fight. The will to get back in the ring. And he pushes Edge off the ladder. But a spear! From out of nowhere, a spear from the rated R superstar. What a great counter from the ultimate opportunist. And just like that, Edge turns things around again. Just when you think Undertaker's got a little bit of momentum, Edge turning things right back around. And now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do some damage to the leg of the Undertaker, slamming the leg in between the ladder. This is a smart strategy because if Undertaker's leg is taken out of play, Undertaker's going to have a hard time climbing that ladder, making it easier for Edge to pick up the victory. Oh, my. Now Edge has a steel chair in it. What in the world? Oh, my. Driving that chair into the ladder with the foot wedged between. Oh, just absolutely brutal. And a third time, he does this to the Undertaker, and Undertaker is writhing in pain. Undertaker, how much can he take? But this is what you have to do. 
it's you gotta do, be willing to do anything to leave as the world heavyweight champion. And Edge knows that very well. Edge bring in a bigger ladder. This will be easier to climb and reach the title. It seemed that the, the other ladders were a bit too small to reach the titles. This time, this seems very efficient. This ladder seems very close to the title. Now, Edge going to climb. Edge can, so he, Edge can easily take the gold down. One more shot with the, the chair. Oh, on a third time. That's it. Just do it. Just go grab the title. It's yours. End this thing. The master of TLC, Edge, showing exactly why he is that. All the damage he's done to The Undertaker, who is laid out flat on his back. Oh, no. A concerto? Don't do it. You're going to end his career. I mean, you, if he loses this, he won't be back in WWE, but now you're going to end his, you might end his life. Oh, but Undertaker, desperate times call for desperate measures. Repaying the favor from the low blow earlier. The Undertaker with a low blow of his own. And could this be the Undertaker's moment as he stomps off the pain in his leg, trying to fight through the pain? Can he do it? Edge is on the ring apron. Undertaker has a plan. And it's not going to be good for Edge when Undertaker gets that look in his eyes. And Undertaker going to send Edge, take Edge for a ride. Oh, choke slam right onto the ladder. And he bounced off. It almost broke in half. That ladder almost bent in half. And The Undertaker, just like that, taking control. The Undertaker, this is The Undertaker's moment to climb the ladder, retrieve the title right here, right now. On one leg, Undertaker's going to do it, but he, oh, Hawkins and Ryder are here. Edge's La Familia is here. The Edgeheads. Ryder and Hawkins going after Edge. Or Undertaker, rather. Going to the Edge. Now being helped up. Oh, we got ladders now and chairs being involved by Ryder and Hawkins. This was a this is all planned all along from the radar superstar Edge. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to think right now. There's so much chaos going on. This is all going so quick. They don't have much time. Now my words are getting flustered. And I look at a damage the Undertaker. This is going to end the Undertaker for sure. This buys Edge some time to recover. Let's take a look at that choke slam on the table, though the the ladder one more time. The way he bounced off of it. And now on top, another ladder on top of the Undertaker. What is this? And now what is going on? Undertaker fighting back. And Undertaker. Ryder said, oh, thank you for coming. Kurt Hawkins. Sent right through a table on the outside on the floor. And now Undertaker is standing up on his feet somehow. And he's got a treat for Ryder too. Talk about a ride or die. You're about to die right now and with a choke slam through the table. And Edge is back in the ring. And a spear to the Undertaker. Edge sending Undertaker knee first into the barricade. And now Edge's opportunity is right here and right now. The championship is on the line, but why is Edge setting up another another table? Why is Edge doing this when he can easily climb the ladder and win the title? Unbelievable strength and resilience by the dead man, the Undertaker, able to send Hawkins and Ryder through tables regardless of the condition of his body. Undertaker struggling on the outside of the ring. Edge now realized it, that he could have climbed the ladder all along. He was so focused on, on his next move that he forgot he probably could have won it with that move right then and there. But the ladder isn't fully centered. It's going to have a little bit of a reach to that World Heavyweight Championship as he climbs up to the top, slowly making his way 
Edge beginning to make the climb. Can he do it? Edge is there. The world title has got his hands, fingertips on the title. And Undertaker pulling Edge off. And now it's Undertaker climbing the ladder. No. Oh, my last ride through the tables. Through two tables. Edge got taken for one last ride. And the Undertaker is in control. And Edge is taken out. Undertaker climbing the ladder. There's this chance. There's this big opportunity. Can he do it? He's the knee injury coming into play. As Undertaker, if anybody has the willpower, it's the dead man. Oh, but who is this? Oh, come on. Chavo. More of Edge's La Familia. First, the Edge heads. Now, Edge's La Familia are here to take out the Undertaker. We should be celebrating the Undertaker as the world champion, but Chavo is here. Edge's La Familia. Undertaker ducked, and both of them swing. Chavo gets taken out by accident. Oh, and got shot in the head with that chair, a shot to the head. And now the Undertaker, now there's tables and bodies broken everywhere. Edge starting to look up. You can see Edge realizes that the Undertaker, but the Undertaker is nowhere near where he needs to be. The Undertaker doesn't have the ladder centered, and this could cost Undertaker's balance if he has to reach. It's already tough for the Undertaker to climb on one leg. This could be over in a matter of moments. Undertaker trying to grab the title. Can he do it? Oh, no. Oh, Undertaker goes to the table to the outside on the floor. And just taking out the Undertaker. That's it. The Undertaker's done. This is it. Edge was going to win this. Edge is going to win the vacated world title right here and right now. He just has to regain enough strength. The Undertaker's done. There's no way the Undertaker finds his way back in this one. But Edge now realizing he needs to prop the ladder up in the right position. And the fans, the WWE Universe, are not too pleased by this as Edge climbs the ladder. It's a slow climb. These two put each other through a lot. And now Edge is, ma is making that climb. Can he do it as he slowly inches his way towards the top, looking back at the Undertaker, making sure that he's down and out. And Undertaker hasn't moved a bit as Edge is fingertips away from the title. And he's got the, he's within reach. Here we go. Edge has done it. Edge is the new world champion. Edge has done it. Edge is the new world heavyweight champion. He had a lot of help, and it took a lot of help to keep down the dead man, but Edge did it. Edge shocking everybody. When we thought Undertaker had it won, Edge had a plan B and a plan C to make sure the dead man did not leave tonight as the new world champion. And in the end, the rated R superstar once again holds some gold and has some extra weight in the form of the World Heavyweight Championship. All right, everybody, and that was the Rated R Superstar Edge versus The Undertaker in a TLC match at Extreme Rules for the vacant World Heavyweight Championship. And after a lot of help to keep the dead man down, Edge is the new World Heavyweight Champion. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget, follow me on all my socials on Instagram at Hype the Commentator, Twitch at Hype the Commentator, TikTok at Hype the Commentator, right here on YouTube at Hype the Commentator, and Hype Commentator on X. Thank you all for all the love and support, and I will see you all in the next one.